Hi y'all, this is Angela Prophet. Thank you so, so much for tuning in to Pickler and Ben to learn more about over the top baby showers. So today I'm going to share with you guys how to do a super, super easy craft mirror tile vase, which looks like a disco ball, which is very trendy right now. It's very in. And so this can be a really fun activity if you and your girlfriends want to get together or even kids can do this but with supervision because this is real glass and real mirror and you can cut yourself um, so i want to talk through a few tips on a few things so first we'll start with these and this is awesome because the old way of doing this was each of these tiles were completely individual and then we used to glue them on which really does take a long time so from a productivity standpoint not that great but can be fun however there are these new tiles which are pre pasted and it is awesome and I tried a couple different ways before we showed this briefly on Pickler and Ben and honestly the best way to do it that we found is to just pull it off in a row like this and literally start at the top and go around. So I tried doing them this way, which it didn't really work because we have a small fishbowl vase here. I also started in the middle and went around. I also started at the bottom. And then I also took this entire pasty thing off, paper, and tried to stick the whole thing on there, which didn't really look good. So the best way that I have found to do it is to pull it off like this and just start at the very top. And it really helps you make a straight line if you use the very top up here, which you're gonna have to break these apart just a little bit to keep it straight. See how they break apart, which is totally fine it's just, again, from a time perspective, it's gonna take a little bit more time. And so you definitely wanna use your thumbs. You can see how it broke up right here. But after you go all the way around, it looks so cool. Um, and you can see here where I was doing this, it, it's like a little paper cut from these. That's from a steamer. <laughs> uh, it's a burn, but you definitely want to be careful if you are doing this with kids i would suggest definitely maybe wearing gloves um, that you could just get at your local craft store or get them on amazon i actually got these great little mirror tiles on amazon i pretty much get everything from amazon these days um, even the little fishbowl vase. And you see how I'm using my thumbs just to reinforce that sticky stuff and go all the way around. And you see how it's overlapping a little bit right there, so you can just pull that one off. And then you can start a second row and go all the way around. So for those of you who are super OCD, which I am, um, I gave up trying to make sure that they were completely, completely straight. Um, it's just completely impossible. And if you actually look at a pre-purchased disco ball, um, they're not perfect. And I know this because I purchased a few of them off of Amazon and then kind of studied them to see how the heck they got them so straight. And I learned after I really, really, really paid attention that they were not perfectly in line. Another thing to know is that you do not want to get these wet. Um, we have used these vases for flowers and I would advise you not to put them underneath a sink and drench them in water. So this is a little bit shorter of an area. So I am gonna do this one by one like this. And 
maybe, yeah, we can fit, well, maybe just one more. This could be the back. Um, but what I would do is I would get a little pitcher of water and make sure that it goes directly in here because this paste that is on this, the adhesive, it doesn't do very well when it gets wet. And the little mirror tiles started to fall off when we got it wet. So it's really not meant to get wet, I don't think. But see how easy this is? And again, you can break them apart and just continue to follow the line and use your thumbs to move them up and down. Again, be careful, because you can get a little, little paper cut. And again, if it's not perfectly straight, don't freak out, just go with it. As long as you keep following those lines, when you back up and look at it, it will be beautiful. And you basically just keep going round and round, all the way around till you finish. And it looks like I can get maybe one more there. And I'm gonna start here. So if you're interested in getting these, be sure to click on the link below in our blog. And we have made it very easy for you. And you can purchase these packages of real mirrored tiles right from Amazon. And if you are not a member of Prime, which is where you get it shipped within 48 hours, now they have Prime, where I think you can get it even sooner, um, and have it delivered directly to your doorstep, which is very convenient. So now we're getting to the bigger part or the wider part. Um, and I've almost gone through one sheet here. I think I got four in a package. And that is enough to cover this small vase. And see how there's a little gap right here so you can just use your thumbs to push them up. Again, make sure you don't cut yourself. And so I'm just breaking these apart and sticking them all the way around. But this is so much better than doing each piece hand and glue, just gluing. I mean, it cuts the time, not just in half, but I mean, I can do one of these in like 10 minutes. So about two sheets are going to cover this. And so you see that one sheet got us about halfway. So now I'm gonna start on the second sheet. And if you guys find this helpful, <laughs> I hope you do, um, <clears throat> please comment and like and subscribe on YouTube. I try to give a lot of knowledge and share my experiences of things that we've been through throughout the years. So you can see here, we've got like five here and four here. So it's not like, oh, I guess I lost my place over here talking. <laughs> so you're just gonna keep going all the way around. But again, if you're looking for a fun, inexpensive craft, to make decor for a baby shower or a wedding even. This is something really fun. You could even have a contest to see who's looks the best or 
who can do it the fastest. <laughs> and after you use it as decor, you could use it for anything, really. You could put pens, pencils, anything that you need. beautiful disco ball flower base done in under 15 minutes with these amazing amazing pre-pasty mirror tiles so they come in sheets and they're pre-pasted on the back so I would allow three full sheets of these to finish this size vase. Again, I hope you guys found this to be fun and helpful. Thank you so much for tuning in and be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And for more information, visit my website at angelaprofit.com. Have a great day. Bye.